Ed here with the Digital Digest. First and foremost, want to wish you all a Happy New Year. Hope you had a great holiday. And I want to start off 2011 with an update on the Elocity A7 Android Internet Tablet. Now, around two weeks ago, I gave you guys an initial impressions video, so I felt it was fitting to update you because the device has really changed over the course of the last three weeks or so. Firstly, we've got an update from the manufacturer on December 24th, which corrected the Wi-Fi lock issues it was having, and they also tried to address the multi-touch issue. Now, if I bring up the browser, you can see here we've got CNN loaded. Again, Wi-Fi is working, no more lock issues, but no true pinch to zoom. By mistake, I just loaded a video. I'm going to back it up. Didn't mean to do that. Again, you will occasionally see some missed touches from this device. I mentioned that in my first review, but I want to show you guys the pinch to zoom. Again, the manufacturer came out and said it is not true multi-touch. It is only a one input device. So they've somehow gotten it to, you know, using that one input and gesture based uh, script of some sort, you know, allowed a graduated zoom in and out. It works, but if you're looking for multi-touch, move on. It doesn't seem it's going to work on this since it's a hardware limitation, not a software one. Initially, we thought it might be software. Now it looks like that's out. Let me show you guys loading up page here such as Engadget just so you can get an idea of the speed of this device because it is really fast and I still have to give Elocity or rather Stream TV Networks the manufacturer a lot of credit for putting out the first true Android tablet to run flash well uh, I can't really say that uh, at least yet about the Arcos Gen 8 tablets uh, or the Samsung Galaxy Tab even though they can both run flash they can't really do it well I'll give you guys an example I've done this in the past, but just go to ESPN for a second. So you guys can see how the flash loads up. And I also want to talk to you guys about the marketplace because that now has become part of the experience. As you can see, flash is working well. I mean, we've got an ad going, flash video on the side. If I get flash ad at the top. As you can see, things are pretty much in sync. A little bit of stutter there, but you have to take into account how much flash activity is going on on this page. Right, I'm jumping out of this because I want to talk to you guys about the more important stuff, which is the marketplace coming into play. Now, a user over at XDA Developers Forum has created a ROM that allows you to basically install you know, the Android marketplace. As you can see, I've got Launcher Pro going here really smooth, really fast. That is a protected app. Now, using uh, this ROM that Dexter, again, over at uh, XDA Developers Forum put together based around both uh, the Toshiba Folio infrastructure, I think, as well as the uh, update I mentioned earlier that Stream TV put out on December 24th. He was able to put together a ROM that works for this device that you can install through a micro SD card. Uh, you know, basically just uh, I'll link that in the description so that you guys are able to see the instructions for the actual process. You can just copy that file over, update it through recovery, and you have Marketplace. And it's actually slightly more functional than the one you'll find on the Arcos Gen 8 line because it does, again, include protected apps. If I jump into the Marketplace, you can see how quickly it opens up. You know, the protected apps are there. So that's uh, a nice thing. Is it a game breaker? You know, for the Arcos Gen 8, absolutely not because anything can be sideloaded. Part of the beauty of Android. Uh, you know, not having a controlled experience, or at least a less controlled experience. In this case, this is rooted out of the box, so really an open device, which I'm really liking about it. Battery life has been four to five hours on constant or heavy usage, so you are taking a bit of a hit here in that you're trading that, you know, increase in performance for less battery life. So you have to determine on your own whether or not that's something you're willing to give up. If not, the Gen 8 tablets from Arcos or Samsung Galaxy Tab or an iPad may be better suited for you depending on what you're looking to do with this device. But definitely really powerful, really impressed. Another great feature that Dexter introduced is ad hoc capability. Now he designed it for his Toshiba Folio, again similarly spec Tegra 10 inch tablet to what we see here from the Elocity. But the only problem with that ad hoc app is it does break the Wi-Fi. It puts you back to the original state of you know when you put the device to sleep as you can see, I'm going to do that right now just for demonstration. And then I'm going to try to wake it back up. Hold on one second, waking it up here. 
As you can see, we've got no Wi-Fi right now. Give it a couple of seconds just to see if it kicks in, and it's not. Luckily, I installed an app from the Marketplace. It's free, Wi-Fi Connector. If you just drop that on one of your home screens, of course I put it on the main one since right now I need to use it until someone at XDA fixes this problem. It takes about five seconds for it to lock back onto your Wi-Fi network. So you can see it's done. And now if I jump back on the web, I was already trying to play that flash video from before. You can actually hear it in the background going right now as I mistype. But let's just jump back to Engadget. As you can see, the Wi-Fi is clearly back functioning. So uh, now again, if you don't know what ad hoc is, let me explain that right now quickly. I'm also going to put a link in that, uh, in, rather in the description, so that you guys get the direction on that. Ad hoc is basically a wireless tether capability that will allow you to turn your cell phone, your smartphone, whether it's Android or otherwise, into a hotspot that a device like this Android tablet can tether from. Why is that an advantage to what the Arcos Gen 8 tablet line offers? Because they only offer Bluetooth tethering, pan tethering, which is much slower than Wi-Fi tethering through your phone. So a big advantage for this tablet, again, more in essence an example of how this is a power device rather than just a media consumer device trying to replace a netbook. Um, trying to think of any other additional things that you guys really need to know. You know, the marketplace is working great as I mentioned thanks to Dexter over at XDA Developers Forum. And the ad hoc to me is just a tremendous feature since that's not something found, although it does break the Wi-Fi. Again, keep that in mind. Links on how to do both of these things in terms of installation are in the description. So again, look for those if you do want to complete that. Uh, any other questions or comments, of course, please feel free to ask. And as usual, guys, please feel free to subscribe. Later.